Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be showing you on how to lock your frame rate to whatever you want. So I'm using Prey as an example. So first follow the link down in the description and download this software. Reva Turner Static Server. Just scroll down and as you can see here the latest version. There it is. After you download that just go install it from the folder you download the file to. Then you'll see this in the desktop, just double click on it and then go down here to the tray and you'll find this logo here, just click on it and this will show up, as you can see. So, first of all, we want to see our frame rates, so you don't need Afterburner to do this, MSI Afterburner is not needed. So just click on Show on Statics, then on Stealth Mode, after clicking those two maybe click this one a couple extra times so it shows up I don't know what's up with that, it seems to be a bug so when I go into the game, as you can see, I'm getting 120 frames per second I'm zoomed in there so you can see let me zoom out I pause the game I zoom out a little bit as you can see over 120 frames per second so yeah, let's cap the frame rate just go outside of the game, zoom in here I don't know, you want 62 frames per second, I'm sorry, 62 frames per second. So click here, 62, enter, and then when you go into the game again, 62 frames. As simple as that, <laughs> nothing else to do here. You just need to write it down there, and on the game it will show up. If you have MSI Afterburner or EBGA Precision X, something like that, it will still work using this software since it's usually bundled in with the other software you're using or I don't know, you maybe want 30 frames per second for some reason, maybe on some game you're having trouble with your processor and you need to hit 30 frames, as you can see there 30 frames so yeah, that's all you need to do, very simple then when you are going to exit the game, put 0 so there is no FPS cap and disable this and just play the game as you usually do or just cap it at 60 and do this, cap it at 60 and play the game like this whatever you want, it's the easiest way of capping your frame rate to 60 it won't work on all games but since the latest version which is on beta stage you can do this on universal windows applications too so you can do this on Forza Horizon 3 on all the Gears of War games, all that kind of stuff so yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.